You know in Fortnite, panicking and having anxiety has been accepted as just part of playing the game. However, you know, these can prove to be detrimental to your gameplay and hurt your chances of winning. You know, it's so amazing how pros manage to stay so calm in intense situations. And that's why today, we're gonna help you guys out with that, all right? Who wants help against anxiety? Come on now. So today's video, we're gonna be giving you guys some tips to reduce panic and anxiety so you guys can perform better in the game. So real quick, if you're trying to improve at Fortnite, you know, we recommend that you guys head on over to ProGuides.com on our website, we have weekly courses featuring the best up-to-date Fortnite content, along with the content from pros like Manjo and Benji Fishy. And on top of all of this, we have 24-7 on-demand coaching from some of the world's best players, so you can step up your game, all right? If you want to get better at this game, you absolutely need to check out ProGuides.com. All right, so finally, let's do the question of the day. Today's question is... What's the most clutch play like you've ever pulled off in Fortnite? Let me know the most clutch play in the comments. I'm really, really excited to hear what you guys have to say. What's going on, guys? It is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm back to motivate you, to inspire you to be the best, not only in this game, but also in life. I believe in you guys. Remember, I say it all the time, and I'll keep saying it. I don't care. You guys are great. You got to know that you're great despite what you're going through. I don't care what surrounds you. I don't care if you failed 100 times at this game or just things in life in general. General, know that there's greatness on the inside of you and the more things that you go through man the more that you can learn from it and the more that you can mature and just get better you know get better connect with me at my new insta at your motivation guy all right ladies and gentlemen it's about that time to sit back relax and get my favorite candy come on say with me it's that bunch of crunch and let's get this going so the number one reason pros are always so calm is simply because, you know, they've been in every situation hundreds of times and they have played in so many tournaments and intense scenarios that it just comes natural to them now. This is one of the many benefits of simply having a ton of experience in the game. As they say, nothing beats experience. So the first way to gain experience, especially in solos, is to play in any in-game simulations such as Zone Wars, Turtle Wars, or Box Fights where you can run into a bunch of different realistic scenarios that can be applied to the real game. You know, you can play Zone Wars by simply queuing up in a creative field or just gathering a bunch of friends and just starting any sort of Zone War map in the hub. You can also use a Turtle War map in creative field or even a box fight map with friends. The possibilities in creative are endless, guys. The second and the best way to get in-game experience is to simply play and put yourself in the situations you're afraid of, man. That's how you do it. You know, you're gonna freak out at the start, but eventually, you know, it'll all just come natural to you. This is by far the simplest and arguably the easiest way to reduce your panic and anxiety in Fortnite, man. You know, you could do this by simply playing pubs, doing scrims, tournaments, or anything like that, guys. The number one, Best way to produce your panic via in-game experience is to play tournaments. Yeah, I said it. You need to play some tournaments. These solo cash cups you see every single week and any other tournaments for that matter are amazing for not only practice, but also experience. Yeah, that word again, experience. You know, participating in these events are going to give you guys valuable experience that you really can't match anywhere else. So we really recommend playing in them as much as possible. Your mindset is another important factor that might be hurting you more than you think it is, man. Okay, so to be a bit more specific, we're talking about how you feel when you die and how you view your losses in Fortnite. Okay, so try to think of losing, you know, less as an actual loss and more as a win. All right, you might be thinking like, what is this guy talking about? All right, let me tell you what Keith Allen is talking about. All right, when you say, okay, well, I died, how was that considered winning? The reason that you're winning is that you're learning, aha, and you can improve based on the mistakes that you make. So stop considering every death as something bad and start to think about, okay, like how can you get better and improve as a player based off of your loss? So by doing this, let me tell you what you're doing. Let me break it down. What you're doing is you're actually allowing yourself to worry less about dying and losing a fight, right? As you're gonna eventually gain more out of that loss than you would from winning the fight. You know, even though you may have technically lost the fight, all right, you lost the fight, I get it. You're still the winner in the long term because you're constantly getting better and you're constantly learning from your mistakes and you're constantly improving. You know, like I'm sure all the pros just didn't wake up one day and they were just great. Like it took time to get there, right? You know, with, without you having lost a certain fight, 
You could skip past or not even realize some mistakes that you make, which might be holding you back from being actually a better player. Okay, so the second reason that you shouldn't view dying in such a negative light is because you're really not losing anything. Okay, so this is the truth, all right? Even if you left the game immediately, didn't care, all right, you didn't review or watch it back or anything like that, you're not truly losing anything except a few minutes of time. Understanding this is gonna prove to be super helpful. Don't forget to play the game for enjoyment. I say this all the time when you guys reach out to me on my Insta, you gotta have fun. It is just a game after all, really. Obviously, you know, winning is better than losing. Like, I hate losing anything in my life, but you're not really losing anything if you do lose, to be honest. So viewing your wins and losses in a different mindset is just super important to not only reduce panic and anxiety, but also improve at the game. That's how you gotta do it. The third thing that might be causing you anxiety when you play is your actual skill level. You know, being worse at the game and knowing like in the back of your head that you're probably gonna lose, it's a harmful mindset but it makes sense. You know, obviously, if you're not as skilled at the game, you know, you're going to panic more and play with less confidence. And as you probably already know, confidence is absolutely key to being successful in Fortnite or anything in life, really. So unfortunately, you know, there's no real secret formula to gaining confidence apart from actually, well, improving at the game. This is best done by practicing your mechanics, reviewing and learning from fights, and playing against friends in creative for less pressured practice. First comes practicing your mechanics. The three core mechanics of Fortnite, my friends, are your building, editing, and aiming. Let me say it again, building, editing, and aiming. Many players think they have strong mechanics, but they don't in comparison to others. You know, nowadays, everyone is just so darn good at the game and they play it so much that it could be hard to keep up. All right, so let's go over the best way to practice each mechanic. So to improve your building, simply play in a 1v1 build battles against friends, preferably players that are better than you, and also free build and creative once in a while to work on retakes, 90s, and all other core building techniques. Editing can be improved in multiple ways, right? First up is box fights, where you and your opponent are forced into a small box together and have to fight it out. Your materials are seriously limited in box fights, so it is so important to try and pull off edit plays to outplay your opponent. Alongside this, doing edit courses is the common advice you're gonna get, and while it's beneficial, we recommend doing them, of course, but not too often, as they don't give you real game experience like box fights do. Your aim is easily the hardest to improve out of all three core mechanics. If you're on controller, we recommend hopping into an aim map in creative and just using it for a while and also practicing the mechanics of aim assist aim assist is just super powerful right now and it's just so important for controller players to understand how to use it as effectively as possible you know for mouse and keyboard we recommend using kovacs fps aim trainer which is a program outside of fortnite that pros use to practice their aim you know you can get kovacs for ten dollars and it goes on sale every once in a while as well so you might be able to get a better price you know once you start up kovacs we recommend these scenarios all right six tile jumbo frenzy tile frenzy 180 bounce 180 bounce 180 tracking close long straight invincible and pat target switch you can also mess around in other scenarios but these are the best for a beginner to intermediate aimer to improve to review and learn from fights the best thing to do is to simply head into replay and just see what you did wrong during the fight. You know, by watching your opponent's perspective and your own perspective, you know, maybe you missed an edit, you know, placed the wrong build, you know, made a bad play or anything like that. You know, it's all up to you to find out what you can do better and practice it based on that. Finally, practicing with friends and creative is the best way to improve in an easier, lower pressure environment. Okay, so try to find a friend around or above your skill level and just play against them over and over, whether it's in a box fight, build battle, zone war, anything else, all right? Playing with friends and creative is easy to do, and if your friend is pretty good, it can help you improve your mechanics and mid-fight decision-making extremely quick. You know, if you don't have anybody to play with, which I understand, it happens, don't worry, simply join a scrim discord like Atlantis or T1 and type in the looking for group chat that you want to 1v1 someone. People are almost always in these servers looking for someone else to practice against. So this is a great opportunity to meet new people and just find some good players to fight against. But utilizing all of these strategies we talked about, you can improve your true skill and gain confidence in the fights. Believe me when I say, knowing you're better than your opponent can go a long way in determining who wins the fight. The fourth and final tip we have is one that you can use when you're actually in one of these intense situations where you're struggling to keep your cool and you're freaking out. The absolute best thing to do is that when this happens is to box up, and simply think about what you're going to do next. If you keep moving at a super fast pace in an intense fight, your thought process is gonna be thrown off and you're gonna panic even more, not even knowing what to do or how to do it. 
So next time you're in an intense scenario and you don't know what to do, okay, stop, box up, and just breathe, all right? Calm yourself down and just think about how you're gonna play the rest of the fight. This is super helpful, and I do this pretty much every single time, and I know so many players that do this as well. It's gonna help you guys out. You know, you're gonna be shocked at how much this can actually help when you're anxious or just scared during a game. Okay, so we went over quite a lot in this video, so let's do a recap of everything we discussed real quick. All right, so first things first, gaining experience is the absolute best way to reduce panic and anxiety in Fortnite. If you've been in the same situation a hundred times before, you already know and be able to plan what to do. Okay, so the best experience you can gain is in tournaments, as it's the real thing and there's no better place to practice. Second, improving your mindset will help a ton as well, okay? Instead of just getting mad when you lose, use it as an opportunity to improve and better yourself as a player. So keep in mind that when you die, you're not truly losing anything. In fact, if you review and improve your mistakes, your losses actually are really more like wins in the long term. Third, improving your actual skill in game will increase your confidence and will definitely make you guys better in the actual game. There's not much else to this, you know, apart from practicing. Finally, if you're in a fight and you're freaking out, okay, simply box up, calm down, and just analyze your situation. There's nothing wrong with just taking a minute to do this, all right? And pros do this all the time when they start to panic and freak out. All right, guys, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, man, continue to just lead, continue to influence, continue to motivate. Connect with me on my new Insta at your motivation guy. Next time you're fighting against a pesky turtler, try out some of these tricks and see how you like them. You know, we really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to use code PROGUYS in the Fortnite item shop when you make any sort of purchases. It just really helps us out and we really do appreciate it. Comment down below what you thought about this video and what you like to see next on the channel. We aim to bring you guys the best daily Fortnite content. So do us a favor by liking the video, subscribe to the channel, and show ProGuys.com some love for bringing you this video. Thanks for watching.